Welcome back with us, folks. Now this time, I'm going to show you a few things about how size matters and how looking at a ticker enter day can tell you what could happen in the event where it turns around with um, a very good uh, chance of success. So this is NVIDIA last Friday that um, I played uh, personally without alerting uh, because uh, I believed it was a little risky. However, look at where um, it was doing a tighter move, right? Like this here. And while it was doing this, trust me on this, SPY was still going down. So we talked about um, strength in a ticker. So SPY is moving to the downside and this thing is consolidating and ready for breakout. So as soon as SPY got a grip and started moving to the upside, this is exactly what happened. It started poking its nose out of that flag and it took off. So um, I was really fortunate to play the, the uh, 220 here uh, on, on this play. As we got to this corner, getting tight when I saw SPY moving down, it was reaching support and then it started taking off. My point is not this play. My point is when you watch this thing happen intraday, whether you played it or not, you know that I'm going to erase this so you see it. You know that here was the trigger for something to the upside. As soon as we got enough bulls in the market, the whole thing starting to the upside. So it reached a certain point, higher, a lower high, lower high. So it's moving to the downside. Algos took this down at precisely two o'clock and market throughout started pulling back. Um, I believe um, the president had a press conference schedule at that time. It didn't start at two, but it had a uh, conference at two o'clock scheduled. Algos took it down for a certain amount of time. However, look at what, sorry, here, look at what happened. I'm going to remove this. Look at what happened. It came down to a line where this is where the bulls started picking up as soon as it turned around. So basically, um, here was my interest. I was watching it carefully because when I was thinking, whenever we reach this line, we will see the bulls that started to pick up the overtake, the volume from the bears to the bull side. This is what happened there. So I'm watching the same line and as soon as we reached it, this we alerted in chat. We said we're alerting small position and the 220. Why? Because I really able to see this line here. Yes, it's lower high, lower high, lower high. But the possibility of reaching back up to this line, which is above 220, is really high in the event where we go to the upside, right? So size matters. Am I going all in? This is Friday afternoon. It's 2.30, very close to final expiration, which is at four. It is very risky. We have an hour and a half. And at that time, we were almost five out of money. How much did we pay for 220 calls? Um, at, we paid 30 cents. So our total per contract is $30, right? Now, many people will tell you, you can uh, play in the money. We could have played in the money. We could have played the 215s. However, um, I didn't want to spend much. I didn't, all I wanted to spend was something that was going to give me back up to a little over 220. And in fact, I had in mind 222, 225, 222.5. So anything close to 222 would have been very good. And if you know the math, if you're at 222 expiration, basically you'd be going $2. So from 30 cents to $2, that's a pretty good investment. So let's go back to this. How many you can take? Position size matters. How much are you willing to lose? I was thinking I'm okay to lose $100 on this thing. So 
let's say you play three, three contracts. Three contracts at 30 cents. How much is that? It's 90 cents. $90 total because this is times 100, you know. So $90 for a play that will probably, I said, we're looking at a move to the upside to 222. In that particular, ca particular case, when we reached a certain point, I alerted the exit. Exit was at 92 cents. So $92 per contract. So I said, I'm leaving one, I'm taking one out, 92 cents. So it's $92 for one contract. And we exited before the top, but I was super happy at 520 times the rest. So basically whatever you had, that's 520, excuse my writing. So whatever you had taken in the first place, you were looking at $90 um, initial investment. And now you took um, 1132 total minus your 90 uh, initial investment. Basically, you're looking at a final in your pocket, $1,042 with an initial investment of $90. So if I had gone with a hundred contracts, uh, it would have, you know, made a pretty good end of week, end of month for, for many and end of the year for, for, uh, for, for even some of us. Um, however, that's not the point. I'm not looking at spending something, throwing money out of the, out of the window. I'm okay to go with something rather small and end up with something that is, um, that is, uh, decent, you know, a thousand dollars when you invest 90, that's pretty good. So just to recap this whole thing, um, why, why am I looking at this thing here? Uh, I believe that there was very low volume on spy when this whole thing came down with the algos very low volume um this was called in chat low volume on this pullback i believe jtw was calling that we picked the bottom from the breakout in the morning um and then it looked like we were taken off for the rest of the day so basically it would it was just a bullish move to the upside if it had gone down to under this line, basically this is pretty much when we decide to bail. And if you watch just the other video about the uh, how we learn from the bad play, uh, this was a pretty good exit. And given the fact that we had $90 on the table at the time, uh, it was not too much of a deal. So um, I guess you guys are learning from this as well. Um, let me know any comments. Always appreciated. And I'll see you back in a few.